Hello and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Right, I've just seen we've had some money coming in from the drivers. So let's just have a quick look at the old drivers. Um, it was our new driver. She has earned me... See, look at that woman driver. Instantly earning me money. Unlike this guy. All right, he's earning me a bit of money at the moment, but he cost me a lot on the first couple of jobs. So, yeah, the, the women are making really good money now. Um, that's really good. Right. Just kind of want to say, guys, and get this out of the way at the beginning of this episode. I literally have workmen 15 meters away from me, literally. Um, so if you hear any background noise in this video, I do apologize. There's nothing I can do. They're literally installing the glass fiber cables on my side of the street now. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. Um, I kind of wish I recorded this video yesterday because it turns out the Dragon Lady is not at work today. Um... And I could have just, to be honest, I could have spent the day with her. Um, so I'm kind of making this video. So it's not going to be like a massive video. Um, because she's taken my middle child to college. And then she's uh, coming back. So kind of want to crack on a little bit. And yeah, we've been to Barcelona. And it's the only downside. A lot of them you go to the same big cities all the time. No, I'm not going back to them islands. I'm not going back to them islands. I thought it was bad enough I was not going to get off them yesterday. Just double checking where some of these jobs are going to take us. I want about through... That's a bit too... Sm That's the problem. That's too small of a job. For the other ones, like, slightly too long for a job. Um, two fifties. I would rather do the three hundred mark. <laughs> three hundred. There's fourteen hundred yet. So there is there is not that much for today's uh, today's pick of jobs. <clears throat> Always the same. That, that's too long of a job. That's the problem. Don't have to be that one. So we're gonna go. Even though we've been here before, there's not much we can we can do about that. I think it's gonna have to be that other one. Yeah, that's just too small of a job. That's too big of a job. That's back on the islands. I don't want to go back to the islands. That would be the best one to do, but it means going back to the island, which is what I'm trying to avoid. Tell you what, screw it, we'll do that one. It's not the best paying job, um, but it takes us back into Spain and it is also somewhere new. We're going to do that one and we're going to crack on with it. We're in the Mercedes, so we should be able to pick up a little bit of speed along the way. Oh, I'd, I'd like to say we're going to pick up a little bit of speed along the way. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that the issues on yesterday's video weren't too bad. Um, I did think it was going to echo because it was coming through. The sound from the game was coming through OBS twice. All it had done, basically, is it had this normal lower volume, like what you get when I talk. Because my, my volume automatically lowers when I, you know, like the engine noise is automatically low when I talk. It's a way of making sure that I come across crisp and clean and... Yeah, and all basically that had happened is it had come through the microphone section, so it wasn't lowering itself when I was talking. So, yeah, I did think it was going to cause an echo, which it didn't, so I'm super glad it didn't. Right, this has just added another 44 mile onto this job because it's 44 mile away for pickup. So that makes this job even worse. Yeah, the wife, the wife will just have to wait. But yeah, she's like, oh, can you do another video? And like I say, I, was, no. I never thought yesterday. I could have done two yesterday. One for today. Um, I was like, well, Dragon Lady, why don't, you, why don't you record on me? But then, obviously, in order for me to get this video out at 7 o'clock tonight, I have to start recording at half past 8, at the latest, really. Turn Which means she's not in because she has to take my youngest off to college. So, yeah, unfortunately, as much as the Dragon Lady has a day off work today, she's unable to join us. She was meant to have a hair appointment, but 
and it's been cancelled but she took At the, the day off for it so first exit. yeah she's uh exit now not not much really to do now so yeah she's uh I don't even know what we're going to do today. It means I'm playing no Apex today. <laughs> she's at home. She's going to want the telly on. Because um, the workmen are working at the bottom of our driveway. So it's not like we can be in and out all day. So well, she's either going to have to be in the house or out the house. Um, could park on the road. But where we live, you don't want to do that. The last time I parked my car on the road. Not my car I've got now. But my old car. I parked it one day on the street out of the 15 years I lived here, and it got damaged. That's what it's like where I live. It's not a great area at all. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the case. It's uh, it got damaged, and yeah, I've never never parked on the road since. And I only parked on the road because I was literally laying concrete. I couldn't I couldn't park on my driveway because I was literally laying concrete. Was that no? Was that yeah? I was, I was laying concrete as I was doing something to the driveway. Or was it? I don't know. Was I installing the drain for the. I, I don't know. But there was some reason I had to park on the road. And then bang. Bunch of druggies and. Uh, druggy, drug, drunks and druggies went past. Fighting and arguing with each other. And boom, my car got out. I was like, yeah, great. And typical coppers wouldn't do a thing about it. Not a thing. So I've not parked on the road since, but if I need on and off my driveway today, the workmen are just going to have to give me space. But I don't want to disturb them if I can help it. The sooner my internet cable gets installed, the better. That, that's how I look at it. The sooner it gets installed, the better. It, it, that's good for all of us. And then um, exit right. Faster upload, so I don't have to feel as rushed doing the videos on a exit morning. Right. Because YouTube takes hours to do its thing and hours to upload well imagine it being uploaded at, at the moment i upload uh, about 15 to 18 megabytes or megabits whatever the frick it's called i always get them mixed up but i have an 80 20 connection i don't get 80 20 i do get the 20 upload in theory i say it's always about 18 ish but it, it jumps between 15 and 18 because obviously no internet's constantly flat out that's kind of how it is. My, my download speed is the worst one. It's, Keep left and it then sucks. turn but left. On. Right, so you run out of road, drive into me, and I'm paying your fine. Okay, turn mate. Left. There's £350 down the drain. Yes, I still haven't got that crash mod in. If you watch this video, can you... Can you link exactly what that mod is called? I did have a gander at it, but there was a couple of different crash ones to choose from, and I wasn't really sure which one you were talking of. Exit um, so, yeah, if you can put exactly what it's called. Because there was one way. Yeah, you, you know who you are if you put the comment. It would massively help me out. Right, let's go in here. Let's go on here. Let's go on here. £14,000. job done. It's, it's not the best paying job of all of them, but it's good enough to to get in the episode. Do you know what I mean? It's good enough to get in the episode. But yeah, once we get a better internet connection, then we know we can upload in time and YouTube does its thing. YouTube's the, the second biggest problem. Um... Let's do Obviously, the really slow upload speed. This is when it when it works. You see, because the problem with my connection is it's always dipping out because the, it's something to do with like the, the the lines are faulty. Basically, what it is, from my house to the telephone pole, I have a copper cable. There's nothing wrong with that copper cable. The issue is from the bottom Turn of the uh, the telegraph pole the under the ground to the green Second box. Exit. My street still uses 1960s, 1970s aluminium cables. And the ends of them are basically all corroding up. Now, the guys come out every once in a while and clean them all up. But the problem is, we get a lot of rain where we live. And it causes them to... I don't know if you've ever seen, like, aluminium, like, kind of rust. It goes, like, 
fluffy on the connections, if that makes sense. Oh my mate, I'm just changing my headset to game mode. Had it on uh, video mode. I was wondering why there was like no bass in my headset, but yeah. Just had it on YouTube video mode and uh, what I call YouTube video mode. It just basically just takes out some of the bass. If you're watching sort of video, you don't need to be hearing ultimate bass in someone's voice. But like when you play a game or you play an Apex, you want that bass because it tells you where the footsteps are. In theory. So we are going this way and we are turning left, but left, we are turning right. And then exit right. <laughs> this is a funny left. Exit. I'll tell you what it is, this must be an American left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I've got to get a little jibes in there. Right, let's go this way. Lovely job. Oh, what a, what a day, what a night. Yeah, the wife last night. Oh, sorry. And yet, apparently, my watch says I, I know fine well my watch is wrong for my sleep because it's saying I was sleeping at three o'clock this morning and I wasn't. At three o'clock this morning, I was sat scrolling on my phone because I couldn't sleep. So. I know that bit's wrong. Alright, let's get... 60 mile an hour on the old cruise control. Let's get back into this lane, because I think that should be good. This was in a better, better lane. Them mirrors are not too bad, actually. Sometimes I have to adjust the mirrors, but on this truck, you am alright. Yeah, 420 mile, and we already had to do 44 mile to pick it up. So yeah, it's been quite a quite a big job, bigger than I thought it was going to be today. And we need to make up these uh, this mileage as much as possible. Just because the dragon lady, so I was literally. I was literally breaking, mate. I was literally breaking. Bloody coppers on this game. Just spawn behind you to give you a ticket, I'm telling you. Alright, so we've got 56 mile an hour roads again, so we can whack that up to 60. The Mercedes is not too bad. It is, um, like I said, I don't like the dashboard. I think the dashboard's very old style, you know, and uh, not the best. Plasticky dashboard, the instrument panel or the instrument cluster, depending on what you call it, where you're from. I think it's just very Keep old, old, oldy looking. Now, when I say oldy looking, I'm talking it looks like a 90s dashboard. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. I had better looking dashboards in the 90s on my old Ford Escort. Do you know what I mean? It's... Yeah. Alright, so... Lower that to 60 mile an hour. So that's as much as we can do without a speeding ticket. We're in 6th gear. We're at the top of the rev range as well. is uh, pretty much all we can uh, do at the moment and then just enjoy the ride towards Spain basically but yeah it's nice to go back to Spain we'll try and go somewhere different in Spain like I said I'm trying to spice things up where we go I, I could just do all of Spain and all of Portugal and just stay there until we've done it all then move on but I, I, I like moving around the different countries You can't give me a ticket for this. It's not my fault gravity's making me speed. <laughs> well, it is. I could press the brake, but it's not my fault gravity's making me speed.
question mark. Is that a dealership or is that going to be a... I reckon that's not a dealership. Don't forget, we need to find a daft dealership, but we need to find a daft dealership when we have the money to buy the new daft truck. The daft truck is the last one we need to get to a thousand mile. We've done 355 mile in this truck, so we'll do about 1200 just to cover ourselves, make sure, you know. But I don't remember if what the mileage was when we, uh... Ugh. Ugh. Slow speed. Slow speed. Come on. Give me speed and power. And we've got the power. And we're slowly building up the speed. Dropping a gear would have most likely have helped. But... A bit late to do that now. Yeah. There we go. 16 mile per hour. So lovely. We can we just get to cruise along at this kind of speed. Um, what are we moving today? I do like to right, we are moving 22 tons of empty pallets. Someone's paying me 14,264 pounds to move empty pieces of wood uh, empty pallets. So basically bits of wood. Easiest job in the world, this. We've got seven hours twenty-two to be to be there, and we've got eight hours six. So, if we can keep up the four mile an hour on top, yeah. Look at this town here. If we'd have gone into this town here. We could have uh, unlocked a dealership. There's definitely a dealership in there. There's two question marks. But right now, we don't have the money to buy a DAF, so... We're limited to what we can do at the moment. We can't buy a DAF until... We have the money. And we know we need at least £120,000. At least £120,000. So, yeah, we'll just... We'll stay in the Mercedes until we've got the money for the DAF. We started with Iveco, we went to Renault, we went to Man, we went back to Iveco on a different one, um, we then did Volvo, oh we need Scania as well don't we, yeah we need Scania, but yeah so again we still need at least £120,000 just to buy a um, Crappy, crappy model one, you know, because not like the top of the range ones. We're not going to be able to afford one of them. Um, but yeah, we are, we are going to have to spend some money. Yeah, we need Scania. Right, go up, go from fourth to sixth. We'll gear jump there. Turn the cruise control on, set that to 60, let it build up itself. Lovely. Right, we're going to have a bit of fog and mist by the look of it. But that's going to make this trip very interesting. And well, we've got 308 miles left. So, you know, I, I know when I'm doing these videos, I do kind of repeat like the mileage and stuff we've got left to do. It's more just for the people who watch say on a phone and can't maybe see the mileage that's left. Um, so I do like to just give a bit of a an update of the the distance left to go. Right, we are coming up to the French Spanish border. We are officially in Spain. To be honest, it's the one thing about Brexit that I miss. The ability to just travel borders like that. Just go wherever you want. Doesn't really matter. Now you've got to have visas and 
all sorts. Yeah, that's probably the only thing I miss about Brexit, to be honest. Um, people are, oh, yeah, but look at price of food, look at cost of bit of gas and electric. That's Brexit, that. It's not Brexit, because the whole world's got that, them kind of prices. All right, we're maybe a little bit higher than the rest of Europe, but no offence. If I owned an electric company and I could get away with charging you extra... <laughs> From a company point of view, I'm not saying I would do that, you know. But if I if I owned a gas and electric company and I could charge you an extra hundred pound a month, what company's going to be like? Oh, I know, I'm not going to do that. You know, fine, well, every company in the world's going to do that if they can get away with it. The 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 going to it, it's as simple as that. You know, fine, well, they're going to do it. Government lets him. And we don't have a choice. If they all stick, if all the companies stick to the same price, because at the moment, if you look at the price, just just like a bit of rail chatter, if you look at the price of wholesale gas and wholesale electric, there is no need for it being the price that the consumer pays right now. I know because I deal in gas and electrics and things like that and oil, you know, price and buy oil and stuff in in the stock exchange and stuff. I know at the moment. Oil is not that expensive. Oil is maybe the same price as it was about 10 years ago. All right, it's a little bit more than you would like, but it's not the price we're paying now. Not even close on the pump. Somewhere between them buying oil and people, well, people buying oil, and then the government putting it out on the forecourt, someone's making a lot of extra money there, and they are not, they are not dropping that price. Oil, the price per barrel at the moment is not anywhere near the price we should be paying in the pump. It is at least half that price. The barrels are about £1.10 a litre. If you work it out, the price of what a barrel of oil is, the last time I checked yesterday, was the price where on the forecourt it should be about £1.8, £1.10 per litre, not £1.40. Someone's making some extra money somewhere. But here's the problem with the UK. Is there's about five or six different petrol station companies. That's it. If they all work together and say, let's all charge this, you don't have a choice. There's no competition. You literally have to pay it. And that's where they get you. You, it, I know it's like a, it's not like a conspiracy theory or anything like that. It's a genuine case of like, there's there's two brothers. I can't think what they're called. They own, I think they own Asda as well. You know, they own one of the largest petrol station forecourt companies in England. You're telling me they've got nothing to do with the con, you know, the control of the price. Price per bar, price of oil per barrel works out to be about one pound ten a litre, not one pound forty. But you're telling me, you know what I mean? No. Something's something's missed there, but the the government lets them get away with it. If the government says you can only make twenty percent on top of the price of a barrel, for example, the price of oil would tumble at the forecourts. It would absolutely tumble. But yeah, price of oil at the moment is not expensive at all. We're paying the price. Like last year, I I was I short sold oil last year. Uh, when it was a hundred and twenty-six pound a barrel, I wish I short sold it because I knew it was going to drop, and I sold that out. And it, when it hit like seventy-nine pound a barrel, I made quite a bit last year from doing the short selling of oil last year. And now, to give you an idea, it's around that price now, but we're still paying the price of like when Russia invaded Ukraine and we stopped getting Russian oil. We're still paying that price. Yet it's not that price anymore, do you know what I mean? It, it's scandalous. The world is getting robbed, but the problem is, and I, I am gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit hit, critical when I say this, but we're all mugs for paying it. But we're all mugs, including myself, but the problem is we don't stand up to doing it. We don't stand up to stop it. But the problem is one or two people standing up doing this is not going to make a difference. I just realised I was in the wrong lane at the last minute. You know what I mean? 
we would have to have the country bring the motorways to a standstill. It, you know what I mean? The whole country would have to get behind it. But the price of oil per barrel equates to about £1.10 a litre. That's when I last checked it yesterday. Yeah, I think that was what it was. If I roughly work it out off the top of my head, might be a few pence a litre, give or take. I'm just yeah. roughly working out what I, I remember it to be yesterday. There's nowhere near. This country gets screwed, but if this country brought this country to a standstill saying, no, let's block the refineries, not let oil... They'd soon drop the price. They, don't, they wouldn't have a choice, but we don't do that. France do. I will give that one thing. The French, when they do not like something, those know how to riot. They know how to get prices dropped. Like gas and electric, for example. They literally brought half their major cities to a standstill because they were going to put the price of gas and electric up last year. Did they do it? Yes. Did they do it by as much? No. And now that the price of gas and electric wholesale has come down, they've lowered it again before they riot again. This country, oh, prices this much. Okay, we'll just pay it. And that's why they do it. Because in this country, they get away with it. Honest to God, that's why they do it. That is why they do it. And like I said, I sound hypocritical because you're like, yeah, but Matt, you don't do anything about it. You're right. But one man can't do it. it it's got to be like a countrywide effort. If you look at the stock markets of what you're paying to buy wholesale gas, wholesale electric, wholesale oil, it's a fraction of what we're actually being charged. You could get away with almost half in the price of gas and electric and the companies would still make profit and a lot of profit. Like, I think, I think it was Shell last year. I think it was Shell, don't hold me to the name of it. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Bear in mind, I've got a terrible memory, but I'm sure it was Shell. They, at one of the worst times for gas and electric last year, they made a billion in profit. Why couldn't they make only 500 million and give the consumer some of that discount? I'll tell you why. Because the government let them get away with it. The Tory government let them get away with it. But the problem is, the Labour government in the UK is going to be no different. They are not, you Labour are not going to help you. I am not a Tory supporter, by the, by the way. But Labour... Right, I don't have a choice here, guys. I need to go through this because... The Dragon Lady's coming home. I need to go this way. I don't have a choice. The Dragon Lady's going to be home in about 15 minutes. I need I need to push past this divert. Now, I know I was saying the other day in a video, oh, we don't get any diverts anymore. I don't have a choice. To dr the one day I don't need a diversion, I get one. What a shock. But yeah, I've got the Dragon Lady due home. To, to be fair, I'm just looking at the time. Now it's... She could be due home around about now, actually. My dog's getting triggered, so I'm going to say she's... But then again, she might be getting triggered because she's hearing the work and outside. I can hear the workman over the headset. But like I said, if it does come through on the microphone, I do apologise. Um, yeah, I, I said, I do apologise. It's just not much I can do about them. You know, I said, they're installing the cables and... I'm in a bit of a pro I'm in, I'm in a real pickle at the moment because they're installing these glass fiber cables which I want and need so I can do content and get streaming and that again during the day. One second. But I was gonna bang, I was gonna sneeze. But then my next problem I literally didn't hit that. Wow. I can't move. I can't move. I am... I'm not stuck on the barrier. I've just hit this. There we go. I can't move. I physically cannot move. I physically cannot move. I I put it in gear. Okay, I am now moving apparently. 
Um, but I've got nowhere to go. I've got nowhere to go at all. I've got nowhere I can go. I'm I'm literally scraping down the uh, down the fence. I've got nowhere to go. I am. Uh, I can't get past the helicopter. Is there a control to get rid of diversions? Why is the traffic coming this way? I don't know if you can hear that, guys. But yeah, there you go. My job is done, guys. I literally... Alright, my dog is just barking because the wife has just walked in. Yeah, this is it, guys. This is officially episode 72. It is the first job we are unable to complete. It was our own fault for not for driving past the diversion. I just didn't realise a diversion was going to be, well, a helicopter. I, I I can't get past. It's there you go. Look, it is not going to let me past. So yeah, I am absolutely, totally stuck. But I'm stuck because, like I say, guys, I didn't have time to do all this. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm thinking the same. Mate. Nothing we can do about it. 137 miles to go, and we cannot finish this job. I can't get past the helicopter. So, and I don't know if there's a command to clear this. So yeah, there we go. 100 and no, 137 miles. Episode 72, and it is the first job we are unable to complete, guys. So I am gonna be leaving this episode here. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I knew it was going to do... I, something was going to go wrong today. And that's what it was. Um, as daft as it sounds, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about this. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, complete mess of this episode. And until the next one, I'll see you all later on.